Hi Aquarius, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your weekly, weekly reading for the 11th to the 17th. I'm using the Vice Versa deck and I'm using the Unknown Wild Tarot deck and the Animal Oracle uh, deck, Spirit and the Surrender deck. For the first card you have um, I won't go through the spiel, everybody knows it, the information is below the uh, video or click on that little uh, white dot just there. Okay, and I thank you very much for coming back my Cyber Angels and your first card is the Ace of Cups and this is what the other side looks like and that's why it's called Vice Versa. If you want to know more about this deck then have a look in the playlists um, I did make a review on all the suits and the major arcana. So there might be new love coming in or you might be starting something new um, that you're passionate about, a new beginning, emotional. There might be peace at long last. Look at that beautiful dove. Okay, the dove is of peace. And I love this card with all the lilies in the water and it's like the lilies in some countries they call them the lotus so there could be loads of love around you know that but there might be a new beginning in something that you want to do like a new job are you a passion of a vocation so you might be starting if you're not meeting a cancer a scorpio or a pisces or somebody that's spiritual then it could be that you're starting a new job or a new hobby something that you're passionate about um, or that you can nurture now you've got the seven of stones the seven of stones is the seven of pentacles what you sow you shall reap but in this deck it says healing like you might have emotional healing and that's why you've em healed emotionally so that's why you've got a new beginning either in love or something that you're passionate about midweek we have the nine of wands and this is the reverse and this is what you've got there is an ending like I said as there is a new beginning in the beginning of the week you've come through the walls you've fought your way through and you're taking a rest now you're feeling hurt yes but I think you've healed your hurt has been healed okay um, you're ready to um, reap your rewards nine is an ending but there's also a new beginning where there is an ending there is a new beginning and again you have a nine so there's lots of endings there's an ending to sleepless nights okay because the arrows are the swords and usually it means that you haven't been able to sleep and that's why you've been worried too much and that you have gone through the walls it's been much heavier for you than you thought it would be but you know you've come through it and there is a new beginning new ideas because the nine of swords means sleepless nights and there will be an end to sleepless nights as you have new ideas and you have healed and like I said you what you sow you shall reap that is what it means in the traditional deck but it means that in this deck that you have healed and you've got dedication you have been dedicated to getting to this new beginning Wow <coughs> this is really magic because at the end of the week this is the high priestess these cards I um, it's a challenge for me to use these cards I, I will admit that but um, I got over this 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 uh, anxiety or um, uh, scariness um, so that's why I said right go out there and use that deck it's no use sitting in the cupboard but that's the back of the card and that's what you had when I saw it I thought it was the Hierophant but it's the High Priestess sometimes I do have to look at the other side to see what it is okay 
like I said, you, um, <coughs> uh, there's a new beginning emotionally at the beginning of the week. And what do you get? You get the High Priestess. You've left your sadness behind. Look at that. You've got the back of the High Priestess. You know how to use your intuitiveness. You've gained knowledge. And that is what um, the front of the card means. And you do listen to your intuition and new ideas, perhaps spiritual ideas. And to me, the High Priestess is also represents the Moon Goddess. So she does represent uh, Pisces. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, no, uh, not Pisces. Cancer, because Cancer is the m uh, the moon. Okay, and Pisces. So you've got still got the pillar pillars here, right? And that means that there is a doorway that you can step through, and you've gained experience and knowledge uh, on how to handle with your emotions. You know how to. Um, act when and uh, when it's necessary and also because the on the in this deck you see the two cards conscious and subconscious um and usually you don't see that on the the high priestess the cards but uh, here you do and like i said you don't usually see it and you don't see it on the front of the card so that's why it's an extra addition on the back so you know how to use your wisdom and your conscious your uh, your intuitiveness your psyche so you might be highly psychic or uh, you might be high highly intuitive you know what's going to happen you have grown spiritually there will be celebrations as you've got the three of vessels the three of cups so s you are celebrating this new beginning perhaps you've got what you want and you're happy and you're emotionally balanced wow then you have the knight of wands no it's the page of wands i'm sorry there's no horse so that's the page of wands and he's bringing you news. This could be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo that's bringing you news. And they stand for action. They stand for action, creativity, um, also passion. So you might be st starting this new passion of yours. Like I said. So again you'll be this could be a job this could be news about a job if that is what you wish or about a hobby you'll be get receiving news and it will be swift news okay about this new beginning there you go you've got the card death and he's called the guardian in this deck so that you are no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly you're ready for this new action the overall energy for the week from the uh, vice versa card is the seven of wands you might feel that you um, have to defend yourself and you can you can stand your ground you have experienced it because you've come through the walls and you've been um, you've learned you've gained the wisdom you've gained the um, knowledge you've gained the the experience and you know how to stand strong you are stronger than you realize okay so you don't have to take anything from anybody especially BS okay then you have the seer the seer is also the high priestess again this is double up this is back and um, back to front and this is phasing you like so and um, this also means like I said you n have the knowledge um, and you're leaving the old behind and you've gained the knowledge and um, you're highly um, spiritual you could be 
you know you sense it you sense when things are wrong and you know when you have to use your wisdom and your strength that is what you've gained and seven is luck so you've got luck on your side as well and you've got your back in balance because this is number two so that means balance you're emotionally in balance because there's a new beginning you've gone from a one to a two you've matured <laughs> I love it and by the way um, the, the the bows are the swords and that's the nine of swords so you somebody might have stabbed you in the back that's how you might feel but uh, you know how to deal with it that friendship is gone You've, you're turning your back on their emotions you stand above it and that's the best way to be if, if people are nasty behind your back then it's no use um, being friends they're not cut them away boom finished and you've got the koala and I love the koala and that's number 35 and that's an 8 and that is the house of strength and the house of money you're ready to fulfill your passion you're going you're going for your passion you've healed okay what you sow you shall reap you're starting this new beginning something that you're passionate about and you've got the koala spirit spirit has a plan so the divine has a plan for you and they've been guiding you all the way to this new beginning and that's most probably why you've got the two eye priest priestesses um, the two cards I mean the priest eye priestess but the two cards you've spiritually and emotionally grown in nature the koala moves slowly through the branches of the eucalyptus tree leisurely chewing the leaves reminding us that life is not a race or a competition chasing around after every distraction can keep us from recognizing that we have all we need and the spirit will always be there with gifts to sustain us you are being asked to trust that by moving slowly with faith 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 in yourself or spiritual faith to move slowly and trust in with faith in the abundance that is everywhere surrendering to the power greater than yourself you will be able to experience the manifestation of your desire as you take time enjoying the riches available to you now sitting peacefully you begin to radiate the joy of abundance you seek spirit is here to help you discover happiness pleasure and contentment all gifts that are yours now and in the future have faith and trust in spirits plan for you and know that you are loved and cherished well all the riches what you sow you shall reap you are going to celebrate it you have gained the knowledge you're richer than a lot of people just don't focus in front of you but focus within and around you and that is what the priestess does because the priestess she's got the Torah and she's got the book of wisdom so that's the Torah is really in some decks it's just the book and in this one it's the scroll and the book of wisdom of life she knows the secrets but she doesn't tell and she won't show she's patient and so have you you've been patient and you can leave the negativity behind well done Aquarius I hope you are enjoying this reading surrender to the beauty of the natural world take a relaxing break and spend time in nature replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there
and when I see this picture I have to think of the linamon, the trees, and that means health, money, relaxation, space. You, remember, you need space. You are a person, an air sign, and you need space. And you don't want ev everything to be cluttered. And you don't want people to pull at you that aren't honest. Okay? Because the swords do stand for honesty, justice, wisdom, and communication. You love to communicate clearly and honestly. And if somebody doesn't fulfill those expectations, then they can't be friends, especially if they are always arguing, giving you trouble, or speaking bad about you behind your back. Stand above it and don't take any notice. Just be the koala, gently, moving slowly, gaining knowledge, and relax, and um, accept the way life is, and uh, how beautiful it is, and see around you, not just in front of you. Feel it, taste it, smell it, hear it. Go out into nature and sit quietly and listen to the birds or the rustle of water the se at the seaside or the brushing of the leaves and the wind through the leaves. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please give me the thumbs up and I'll see you in the life. Take care and be blessed. Please subscribe if you're new and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified. Thank you, and I love you all. Stay safe and well. Enjoy the week.